Hello, I'd like to show you a um, mechanism and a bug it has and how you fix it, or it's not even a bug, a miss feature and how you fix it. So jumping, you may have wondered why in mechanism jumping never seemed to work right, and this is why. Uh, the problem is here in the heart of Blender where I do the animation. Um, here's the jump, the landing animation. You can see how the model drops down, and then I've got this huge dip so that I can see it. I, this is something you wouldn't put into the actual animation, but I wanted to be able to see what was going on. So there is actually motion, base motion, in the, a root motion, they call it, in this animation. I am moving from a higher point to a lower point. Uh, so Unity doesn't like that, and it malfunctions in a couple of different ways. If you disable root motion, it malfunctions by putting you at the height that you start the animation at, and then not bothering to actually animate you. Uh, moving up and down, that is. Uh, and if you enable root motion, you drift. So the way to fix that is this. Over here in our inspector, this is our character, Gen 4. And we're in animations, and we're going to select the animation in question, which is land. So here you can see that we've got some green lights, and then we've got a red light. Root transform position, red light. Loop match. It doesn't match. Oh my god. Well, I says, uh, when, I'm, when I imported it the first time, I was like, well, I don't care. It's not a loop. It's, it's a one-off, so it's supposed to... It doesn't have to match. But in actuality, you still want to make it match. And uh, Jump had the same problem, so we'll go ahead and fix that too. So what did that do? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our Jump one more time. So that drop there, you might have seen, that, that that's on purpose. But there's no longer an invisible step. Let's go ahead and fix the drop. Now uh, Unity will re-import that automatically. Grind, 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 grind. I should have probably stopped it first. Well, whatever. So now let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't, uh, didn't trigger. Why didn't it trigger? Oh, I don't know. Something wrong with it. Uh, anyhow, you can see that now the animation is fine. So the secret art. Uh, also, I have to learn how to use the animator better, obviously because that's uh, a lot of failures. Anyhow, the secret art of making the uh, mechanism actually animate as you tell it to animate is to bake everything into the pose on import. Just everything that can be baked into the pose, bake it into the pose, and you will move as you expect to. This is important because um, a lot of the other stuff is busted. Uh, there's a bug where if you... Um, if you enable root motion, it disables physics. Uh, I'm using encapsulation, but I hear you can change your rigid body type to kinematic, and it might work. Um, the only problem I have with that is I don't know if kinematic... Yeah, kinematic doesn't obey forces correctly. So I still use encapsulation. Old school Unity 3D style encapsulation where the uh, actual animated object goes inside of the physical object that is the bounding box and everything seems to work okay. So that's the secret. Bake it in and encapsulate it like we're in, still in Unity 3D. The end. Oh, that took two days. Well, the end.